What is the truth about off-grid living? The one and only Google says living off the grid is a lifestyle without reliance on one or more public utilities. But is this true? Do you need to cook on a fire? Build your own log cabin and use minimal tools? I think we can all say that now more than ever, the meaning of living off the grid has evolved and it's up for interpretation. We're changing the narrative and we're proving Google wrong. Take that, Google. Everyone seems to leave the most important truth about off-grid living out, but we're not. And the truth will surprise you. Got to bundle up for the work day. Layers on layers. So and you look cute. <laughs> I'd say this is the first year we had some proper gear for the elements. Gotta make sure these are mine. Something about winter birds, eh? Clunky and they never look good, but these are the best. We have so many layers. Anytime we even touch our snow pants, Bella knows we're going outside. She gets stoked like she's never seen the outside yeah. before. And you're getting so good at being patient. Yes, girl. Hi. Hi, girl. Good day for it, eh? Oh, yeah. Hopefully it's not ice. Part of living off grid is being outside no matter what the weather because you need to clear your solar panels in order to have power and do so much more. Right? So much more. We have 400 watts of solar on our roof, which powers our portable power station, which is how we power everything right now. Pretty soon, you see those nice 10,000 watts behind us? It will be in use. And let me tell you, they're a little bit easier to clean off. Oh, Bella fell off the deck. She okay? That's enough, girl. That's enough. So, a lot of you ask, why don't you just put your solar panels on your roof? This is why. It is very hard to get the snow off of your roof. It's also very dangerous if they go down. Where that, that's a dream. So this is a jasmine job, but I'm gonna give it a go because it looks super fun. It is. This is a nice one, eh? Where'd you pick this up? Oh, good old Amazon.ca. Amazon. Amazon in the woods in 2023? Well, when you put your mailbox four kilometers down the road and you bag them to come, they come. <laughs> <laughs> and Bella, I know. I know. <laughs> this temporary system has been actually super good for us. It's been really helpful as we work towards building our main system. This is very satisfying. You look like you're having way too much fun. I am. I'm almost halfway through the panel. Life. Yeah, panel! And today is a great day. We're catching all the rays. We're gonna plug that baby in right now. I don't want to take my boots off. And Crystal doesn't like that. She's gonna find out when the video gets posted. But here's the solar cable. So I'm just gonna plug it in to our portable power station. And that way we can catch some rays because we have a lot charging on here right now. We are taking 312 watts, but the sun is giving us 141. So we're taking about double, which means it's still gonna die. But hopefully when the batteries are all done, it will start to charge even faster because we won't be taking more energy than we're getting. And that's the thing about off-grid living is you have to constantly be thinking about your power. Crystal calls me the battery police because I am on her like duck soup. Don't ask me why I said duck soup. I got it cleared. It's all cleared. Thanks. Time for the fun part. Come on, Belle. Wait. We have a flat tire. Damn. Sorry, Bella. You gotta wait a little bit, girl. <laughs> How are we gonna fix this? I have an idea. Don't you know, pump it up. You gotta pump it up. It's a good tire inflation business Don't song. Don't you know, pump it up. Oh you my god! You got to pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. Pump it up. Oh, pump it up. You got to pump it up. When your business explodes, Thinking. While living so far out in the woods, you have to be self-sufficient, meaning things are gonna go wrong and break all the time. So you need to have the right tools and just the right tools, I think, right? <laughs> and attitude to take on the day. And to be honest, it can get very expensive on your initial startup, buying all of these things. However, it's even more expensive if I drove this or had to tow it, you know what I mean? So yeah. You have to be proactive. It's a big one. Bump it up.
Well, we meet again. Jazz and Crystal versus the lemon of a microphone. Turns out we lost all our fun audio. Here goes our best attempt at dubbing. I hope this starts. This I wish you could all hear. The snow being wiped away off the windshield. Three, two, one, start your engines. That's my best engine noise. Just kidding, I can do better. <laughs> Peeling it with my gal Bella. Oops, gas is touchy. All right, switching toys. Let's warm it up. So much snow, you can't even see the ignition. I might have to get my de-icer. Woo! Two for two, baby! Start up like a charm. The snowy roads meet the ATV for the first time in a while. Look at Izzy go, she's a speedy girl. 20 kilometers an hour, I think she's running. We've been driving for about seven minutes at a very slow pace, taking in the views and getting the girls out for a walk, if you want to call it that. At last, the treasure box. We made it. Listen up. What I said here was really important. This is our mailbox that we worked really, really hard to get. They wouldn't come down our road, understandably, but this is the next best thing. It's only four kilometers away from the cabin. We love coming down as it's a good walk or it's simply fun on the ATV, one wheels, or the bikes. For as remote as we live, we can get any sort of package from anywhere to our doorstep. And that's a great feeling. You can get mail if you live off grid. Debunked. Debunked! Yay, we have a package. This reminds us of the treasure chest at Eastside Mario's every time. Right now, you'd think you'd hear the ATV, but all you could really hear is Bella barking. Ha ha ha. Time to bring it home. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say ha 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 or laugh. So <laughs> oh my god. Every time we make the drive to the treasure box, I remind myself that it would take four hours to get this package if I didn't have it. I am shamelessly grateful that we begged the post office for this. Tire's still full of air. It's holding up nice. All right, everyone. This next task is gonna be difficult. But before we get into the next task, we'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. I know what you're all thinking. Crystal, you're alone in the woods. Why would you need a VPN all the way out there? Well, let me tell you. Surfshark is an app and a browser extension that allows you to change your IP address. It's a tool for online privacy protection that allows us to encrypt all data being uploaded and downloaded while using the internet. This is especially good for us because we do leave the woods. We find ourselves in the city, traveling in airports, cafes, on public Wi-Fi. And I'm sure a lot of you find yourself in the same situation. This is where Surfshark comes in, acting as a barrier between you and potential hackers. Jasmine can be protected on her laptop and on her cell phone, and so can I, across multiple devices with one account. Sometimes your IP address doesn't allow you to watch blocked content in your country. With a simple switch of your IP address and a refresh, you have access to a whole new library. This is our favorite feature because we cuddle up on the couch and we watch friends together. We love Surfshark, we know you're gonna love Surfshark, and now your evenings are going to expand to new horizons. Join us and watch friends, get yourself a Surfshark VPN, click on the link in the description, you're going to get 83% off and three months free with a 30 day money back guarantee. Use code VANWIVES to directly support our channel. Happy surfing! How close? All right, everyone, this is something we probably should have done, you know, when it was warm out. <laughs> this is our beautiful snow plow, which is gonna help us get in and out of the property when we need to. And it's gonna be awesome to put the Honda to work all throughout the winter. And this is important for a ton of reasons. So, you know that road we just drove all the way down to get mail? We need to plow that and some more on a regular. This isn't true for everyone that lives off grid, but for us, it is. Because for us, we wanted to be as remote as we possibly could. Do I regret that? No, I think I'm gonna have fun plowing with Bella. It's gonna be fun. All right, we're gonna start by attaching this plow to the UTV by putting it on on one side, hopefully successfully getting the clip in, and then yes. we'll move to the next. Yeah! The plow is attached, but there's one more step. 
This is super exciting, everyone. We've never had an off-grid property where we have to maintain these types of things and take responsibility for these things. And it's really just in time for the real winter weather because we're really getting Go. lots of snow now. Are we up for the challenge, girls? Challenge accepted. Let's try it. Uh, is he coming? Is he? We don't take no for an answer in this family. absolutely crushing the first plow and looks like she's having the best time doing it. Ready? Ready. We're going backwards. Looks good. I know. What else do you have to do? That was so quick. That was quick. You're a great snow plower. Are you excited to try? Yeah. I'm, be I'm being a hog. Can I try it now? <laughs> All right, crystals up everyone. Wow. Here. And my right foot is frozen. Life, I literally cannot feel it. Oh, oh yeah. Taking the sock off is definitely the answer. Bella has a nice pillow and a fire as a blanket. Doesn't get much better than this, everyone. It does get better. Everyone meet our stove. How we cook off grid is propane. Even when we have our main system set up, we are going to be sticking to cooking with propane because we live in Canada, which means we never really get the sun. I don't know if anyone knows how much ovens and stoves take, but it is a lot of watts. That looks great. Thanks, you made it. I'm just doing the kale. Chris overcooks kale. Along with brunch today, we're gonna have a smoothie, and that's because we have done so much exercise already today. We need protein and some bloobs. Bloobs! What we're trying to say here is if you wanna live off grid but you're scared of power consumption, there are so many different ways to do things. Having a stove like this really makes it feel homey out here. Magic! How'd you know? I cannot wait for this. Crystal didn't even care for me to set up the shot. She literally just poured everyone because she said, I don't care, I need my smoothie. Mmm. Your face. Oh! Thanks. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. We share with you. Okay, let's serve this up. It's brunch time, baby. Found this hot sauce in the van. It is the best ever. Someone's got a Mitchie Bucky. We have a lot of wood. Our main source of heat is a wood stove. You wish you had another heat source? <coughs> me too. Would you choose me or bark? Oh, get it, bark? Wow. English is cool. Right? Who are you gonna choose, me or bark? Here, take it. Take it. <laughs> no, Bill, you have to wanna give me a kiss or do you want the bark? Okay, you chose me, good girl. The thing we do most while living off grid in the winter is cut, stack, and make kindling. Keep up the good work. To be honest, I just sit here and watch Chris fall. To be honest, you don't get your ass off and get to work. This is something we do at least once a week. And as it gets colder, probably more. We love it. It's like our little gym workout. One hucks, the other stack. Kindling underneath, logs on top. So one wheelbarrow does about a quarter of this wood rack, which holds three fourths of a cord of wood. I'm out of breath. Nice moves. Football player. 
two for the juice says hut. True or false, off-grid living is this easy. I wish. She's back, baby. My last review didn't go too good. Normally it doesn't take this long, I swear. It's because the camera's on. But this review is gonna go a lot different. I'm taking all your advice. Let's make some kindling. Oh yeah. Intermediate logs. They give you a bit of a challenge. Oh baby. Yes! Woohoo! Who's ready for this? We're ready for this! Yeah! We're really coming down now. What are you talking about? The weather? You got nothing better to talk about than the weather? So pretty. Oh. Oh! Call that a wishbone. I dropped my phone. When the sun sets and the day is done, the four of us always retreat to this area, the living room, where we curl up on the couch, call our loved ones, because luckily for us in 2023, yeah. there's a thing called Starlink, and it makes it super easy to get connected to the outside world. Let there be internet. We're so remote that we wouldn't get service with any other cell phone provider. Gets the best service there. Can you imagine living here and not having something like Starlink? Off-grid living is just so different than it used to be. Well, it can be different. The way that we're doing it is different. And this is our big screen TV. Just me or will this go down as one of the all-time great songs? All-time great band? Are you Speedwagon or the new Beatles? Remember I said, <laughs> what started out as friendship has grown strong. Good morning from an iceberg cabin. We were both so exhausted last night and had such a deep sleep that neither of us woke up to stoke the fires. I'm pretty lucky. Crystal's stoking it right now. And I get some the coffee. Okay, but honestly, I need to get up because I wonder what the low temperature was. 15 in here right now. It was 13. Oh. <sighs> Another beautiful day. Almost every morning starts with the outhouse and your cheeks get a little cold. <laughs> Still using it in the winter. Most mornings, I don't really want to leave the warm cabin and come out here for this little walk, but once you actually get out here, it feels super good to get some fresh air and to take in what the day is gonna look like. Evaluate the sky and the weather and, you know, stop and say good morning to our friends. We've made friends with the chickadees. I'm so glad we kept this tree nice and close to the cabin because all kinds of birds are feeding here this winter. I think there's about five or six. I've been flying in and out all morning. Makes going to the bathroom not too bad, eh? <laughs> this will be our indoor toilet. Just a little bit complex to install. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. We've been brushing our teeth on this porch for over a year now, and it's gonna be really funny to look back on this one day because that one day is coming soon very soon that we are going to have a indoor sink it's gonna be really funny though because we'll have it and i'm guaranteed gonna walk outside and brush my teeth every time honestly i think i might miss it brushing your teeth looking at a blue sky or the stars chickadee the stars <laughs> can't beat it five star brushing two minutes dr o i did it we used to shower in a bunch of different places, as you know. We've since said goodbye to the hose and have a beautiful indoor shower, but there's still a few steps to get that water running. It's not as simple as turning on the faucet yet. 240 volt plug. On, choke. Which powers our electrical panel? Wall pump. Water lines. Our propane water heater, because 
Electric takes a lot of power. This is how we decide who gets to go first. A duel! Rock, paper, scissors! Oh! Rock, paper, scissors! Oh! Rock, paper, scissors! Oh! You won! Scissors and rock, girl! You oh. won! <laughs> we don't have doors, so I'll see you all later. Wow, all of those staffs are so worth it. I feel amazing. I'm I don't jealous. know what I would do without the shower. I know, imagine if we were still showering in there or on this deck. I would not shower. Me either. No. We've talked about a lot of truths about off-grid living and we will talk about more. But I want to chat about the most challenging part of living off-grid. And it's not anything we've already talked about. And what I'm about to get into will likely surprise you. The definition for isolation is lack of social connections. And for some people, that can cause loneliness. Humans thrive on connection. And back in the day, when we lived without modern day luxuries, we lived with a group of people. However, more than ever now, people live in the same area, cities leaving the woods empty. And while there's so much to love about that, it is definitely the most challenging part about this lifestyle. I know a lot of people can relate to loneliness and that's exactly why I had to share this. It wouldn't feel right continuing the video without addressing this point. If I've talked to anyone who has lived off grid before or any alternative way of living, this is most of their answers. Although I realize I'm not completely alone, I am so grateful to have Crystal, Bella, and Izzy always by my side. And that's one of the great things about off-grid living nowadays, is there's a spectrum. You can locate yourself anywhere on that and make the off-grid living right for you. And I choose to be connected to the online world. And I'm also so grateful for all 300K plus of you. Every Sunday, connecting, I feel like I know you. I feel like you know us. So thank you for letting us share our lives with you. You make each day so much less lonely. We have tons of these, which don't even work for our gun. They're 15 gauge FN. We need the 15 gauge DA. More FN. More. More! But not the ones we need at all. Oh man, last spot. Oh yeah, that's like outdoor hardware, eh? No one make fun of our truck. It's a work truck, remember. <laughs> all right, <laughs> can we be buried in any of these supplies? Big nails. We have every nail except for the ones we need. All right, we just cleared out this room, our bedroom, because we were gonna put the roof up, but <laughs> we have every nail except for the nails we need for our angled finishing nailer, which means it's a two hour drive. What we love so much about being remote is the remoteness, being way out there all on our own. But at the same time, when it comes to needing materials for projects and anything we're doing, it also includes a two hour drive to town, which is not always convenient and takes actually a lot of time. And when we make these trips, we make sure to get everything on the list because there's a lot on the list. <laughs> And funny enough, it's something we really don't show in our videos all that often, but we spend a lot of time doing it. Is that fine? Yeah, I'm just pausing to hold, make you awkward. Oh. <laughs> all of this to choose from. Outside corner, do you have any outside corners? Outside corner. Okay, probably this one. Always seems to be good. 10 inch seems like the best seller. Off-grid living is a spectrum and it can look any way you want. I think we're right here. If you want to start living off grid and do it from the bottom up like us, be prepared for it to take some time and have backup systems while the whole puzzle is being connected. Isolation and feeling lonely can be a part of this lifestyle. Thank you all for making it a little less lonely. Create your own definition of off grid. We are. Take that. <laughs>